In this video, I will show you how you can integrate Pabli subscription billing and Moosend together so that any purchase that happens inside your Pabli subscription account, the lead and the customer for that purchase will be directly and instantly transferred to your Moosend subscribers list. Okay. Uh, so the first step that you have to do in order to uh, connect your Pabli subscription account with your Moosend account is to create a webhook. Webhook basically what it does is it basically sends the data to a remote application whenever an event happens inside your Pabli subscription account. The event in this case is the payment success event and we are going to capture that payment success event and we are going to get data from that event and we are going to transfer that data to Moosend so that a subscriber is added inside the Moosend subscribers list. Okay, so the first step that you have to do is you have to go into the settings panel and you have to click on webhooks. Once you do that, you can click on create new webhook button and you can see uh, this specific option is asking us for a webhook URL to which we want to send the payment success data. Now, in order to get this webhook URL, you need to get an application where you can basically get this webhook URL, which you can insert inside Pabli subscription billing. And to integrate both Pabli subscription and Moosend together, we have built an application which is Pabli Connect. Now, Pabli Connect is an application which does not just connect Pabli subscription billing with Moosend, but it is an application which can connect basically any software in the planet to any different software on the planet. Basically, I mean it by that is you can connect Pabli subscription billing with Moosend, but at the same point of time, you can connect Pabli subscription billing with ConvertKit, MailChimp, Pabli email marketing, or just about any different software out there. You can also connect any other application apart from Pabli subscription billing with the help of Pabli Connect. In this case, I'm just clicking on uh, Pabli Connect access now button. Uh, to reach this page, this is the page that you get when you log in inside your dashboard or you can also type in your URL which is accounts.pabli.com slash apps. This will take you to the Pabli dashboard and then you can click the access now button. On clicking the access now button, you get to this Pabli connect page where you can create and set up a workflow. So I just click on create new workflow and I'm writing Pabli subscription billing to uh, where do I have to send the data? I have to send it to Moosend. So I'm just writing Moosend. Okay. And I'm saving the workflow. So when I do that, Pabli Connect basically gives you two different things. It asks you for a trigger when this uh, entire automation workflow will execute. And it asks you for the action that whenever this webhook is triggered, what it, the, this Pabli Connect software has to do. In this case, first of all, we will be setting up a trigger. For triggering, you can either do a schedule or a webhook, but in this case, we are setting up a webhook. So it automatically gives you a webhook URL, which you can copy and you can then go to Pabli subscription billing account and you can paste the webhook URL right here. Okay. Once you paste that, you can also check that I want to get this notification on successful payment. And once you do that, you can just click on create webhook button. So this means this webhook is created and whenever there is a payment that is going to happen inside your Pabli subscription account, this URL will be instantly notified about the purchase that just happened. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to products and now I'm going to do a test purchase uh, for one of my plans. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a test purchase of this $15 plan. I have already connected a payment gateway, which is a test payment gateway into my account. You, if you want, you can also connect a live payment gateway to do a live testing, but you can do this very same testing to a trust account as well. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on checkout page. Okay. And then I'm going to fill out this form to just see whether our data is getting transferred to Moosend or not. So I'm just writing the name of the person. Uh, and then I'm just going to write the email. I'm writing the company name. I'm writing the entire data here. And I'm just clicking on test card. 
uh, on the test card i want to do a success payment so i'll just click on success it automatically fills up the credit card number and everything before pressing the checkout button i am again going to the public connect button and i am saying that uh, you can now start to look for a webhook response that is going to come to you okay so basically what it does is it will start to wait for a webhook response to come uh, to this webhook url okay so you just need to do it while you are testing it uh, later on it will automatically keep on looking for the same webhook response again and again so i'm just heading back to the checkout page and i am clicking the checkout now button okay it says thank you for your purchase and thank you for your purchase i'm moving again to the public connect and you can see it has captured a webhook response which says payment success uh, and then it has lot and lot of details inside this webhook uh, but the detail that we are interested in is the name of the person and we are also interested in the email address of the person okay uh, you can see that it is the full name that we are interested in and uh, we have an email address that was in the payment method email okay so i'm just uh, uh, seeing this entire webhook response and i do have few data that we want to send over to moosend so i'm just clicking this button so that this webhook response is um, uh, hidden for few minutes for few minutes and i'm just going to click on this plus button okay plus button is basically your action step uh, which shows what you have to do whenever there is a webhook that arrives inside public connect so this is the first step where the webhook has been has arrived and now the second step is to connect your moose end account so i'm just clicking on this choose app button and i'm just clicking on moose end and what i have to do i want to add a new subscriber so i can just choose the method as add new subscriber and then i am clicking the connect button once i do that it is asking for my moose end api key you can find the api key link in the top settings button so i'm just going to the moose end account and i'm clicking on this uh, settings icon right here and i am clicking on api key uh, i am copying my api key right here i am moving back to the public connect and i am pasting my api key inside my uh, public connect account and i am just saving uh, the key right here okay once the key is set and saved you can see it automatically fetched the mailing list from my moose end account so if you go back to my moose end account and if you check out for my mailing list you can see that i have two different mailing list it says mail get and me form get first mailing list okay i do have two different mailing list uh, i i will be creating a new mailing list which will be saying customers from pably subscription okay and i'm just going to save this mailing list i'm going to mailing list again and you can see customers from pably subscription okay uh currently it shows two mailing list so i will just refresh this again and you can see it automatically fetched the customers from pably subscription mailing list on its own now we just have to pass on two data one is the name of the subscriber and second is the email of the subscriber to to supply the name of the subscriber you already got the name and email address in this webhook response so what you can do is you can just press on this three lines here and you can basically select the name from whichever detail that you want now the shipping address name is coming as uh, pankaj agarwal where this person is residing and the second is the email address that we are interested in and the email address is stored in payment method email so i'll just select this now when you just map this data uh, be assured that this key is not going to be stored inside mosend only the value of this entire key is going to be stored inside moosend okay so i have completely mapped the name of the subscriber and the email of the subscriber so i'm just going to save this integration now and your entire integration between pably subscription billing and your moosend account is now ready to use what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a test request just to see if the integration is working fine so i'm just clicking on send test request button okay and it says successful test api is successfully executed okay and you can see the name of pankaj agarwal and the email address of pankaj agarwal is now added to moosend so i'm going back to my mailing list currently you can see the customers from pably subscription is showing as zero so i'm just reloading the page again okay and you can see customers from pably subscription is showing as one okay i'm just clicking on this person 
and you can see the Pankaj Agrawal name is right here and the email address of this person is right here. So this means whenever there is a purchase that is going to happen through Pabli subscription billing, the person is going to be added to your MooSend email list automatically. So we are just going to save this workflow because we are happy with this workflow and just to see whether this is active. So this is actually activated. So your workflow is completely activated. It will work automatically on its own from now and you can basically leave the Pabli Connect but uh, application from here uh, just to see if everything is working fine what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do another purchase through the checkout page okay uh, i'm going back to the mailing list in moosend currently there are one subscriber i'm moving again i'm just writing the name of the person uh, let me just choose another name which is neeraj agrawal my email address is nwe.rega at gmail.com my company name is pabli uh, i'm writing the address the city, country, my pin code, and I'm going to do a test card purchase, which will be success and I'm going to check out. Okay. Uh, thanks for your purchase. The successful purchase has been done through this email address. Uh, I'm going back uh, to my, uh, to my Moose and account. Currently there are one subscriber. I'm just reloading the page and you can see that now it has two subscribers. I'm going to click this and you can see my email address that is nwe.rega at gmail.com is added. My name of the subscriber is added and it is active. So now you might have understood that how you are able to connect your Pabli subscription billing uh, successful purchase to Moosend. If you want, you can also create a mailing list of cancelled users so that you can set up a similar workflow for any cancellations and all those cancelled user will automatically be added to the mailing list inside your Moosend. Once those customers are added, you can um, definitely promote them some an another product through automation or if they are cancelled user, you can maybe give them another set of automation emails like why they have cancelled, is there something that you can do and all those different kind of things are definitely possible with the direct integration. I do hope that you might have found this video useful. If you have found this video useful and if you think that you can refer uh, someone to Pabli subscription billing, do that and we would be delighted to uh, get you on board using this. Uh, so thank you for watching this video.